Welcome back to Parks and Relaxation, day 12 of our cross-country RV road trip. Today we visit In-N-Out Burger for the first time, drive to Kings Canyon National Park, and then finish it up with some stargazing and free camping on the side of a mountain. The first order of business was to deal with a tire we noticed was completely bald on the inside. Found a truck stop that was doing tires, and about an hour and $200 later we had a new front tire. Wasn't that big of a deal, and we are right outside of Sacramento and grab some In-N-Out Burger. On the East Coast, we have a place called Five Guys that's kind of a similar concept, but I think this is a little more fresh. I would rate them about equal. I don't know if one is better than the other, because there's some things I like more about each one. But it's not a trip to the West Coast unless you've had some In-N-Out Burger. It was about a five hour drive from there to get to Kings Canyon National Park. It was weird going from the coast and all that scenic area into back into city in Sacramento and Fresno and all those types of areas. The General Sherman Highway that brings you to both the giant Sequoia National Monument, Kings Canyon National Park and Sequoia National Park is very twisty and I would not recommend taking an RV over 21 foot. But ours is 32 and decided to do it anyway. We worked out okay, but we did have the backup through a couple of the switchbacks. This video, the portion of the road was quite easy. It's the second half of this park that will be shown in the next video that's the treacherous one. Kings Canyon National Park is one of the least visited in the whole US. It's actually home of General Sherman Tree, which is the largest tree in circumference, but not the biggest tree in the world. It's a half mile hike and well worth doing. We got some family photos in front of it. We were all quite tired from the few days of hardcore adventuring before this and knew we wanted to get in a little early to have a nice dinner and relax and watch the sun go down. Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Parks have some of the best star views in the entire U.S. with almost no light pollution. We wanted to make sure we got set up and get some great photos. What's kind of fun is inside the Kings Canyon Park they have one of the redwoods or giant sequoias, one of the two, I don't remember which one. Either way, it's hollowed out so you can actually play and walk through it. Pulled out our phone, typed in freecampsites.net and found a free camping site for this evening. It's only about 10 minutes outside of Kings Canyon National Park. It's actually one of the most highly rated free campsites in all of California. It's right on the side of a bald mountain in the center of between both parks. Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Park are actually adjoined and considered one park on most of the databases, but it's actually two parks with a 10 mile uh, twisty road between them that's quite difficult to navigate. This campsite is on road US Route 11 S14 Forest Road. As we were cooking dinner and enjoying the views, we could tell already that it was going to be quite the night. As the sun went down, the stars came out. With nobody around and absolutely no city for an hour in any direction, you could see the Milky Way perfectly. These were taken at about midnight using only a cell phone. It was that clear. Our friend had brought his DSLR professional camera and the cell phone was almost keeping up with the same quality. It... After watching the fire and the stars, we decided to call it a night. We had plenty of fresh air and we slept great. The temperature is only about 55 degrees at night. We knew we had quite the adventure the next day, so it was nice to actually sit down for more than just a couple hours, but half the day and just relax, take in nature, and enjoy camping thing. In the next video, we'll show you quite a bit of Sequoia National Park. Remember, don't wait, adventure today. Thanks.